Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Aloha Thursday, everybody. Good morning. It's a little bit cold this morning. I don't know how cold or warm it is in your neck of the woods, but my neck of the woods was actually not that cold, but it was still a little chilly. 61. 61 degrees. That's cold for over here. So sweater action it is for me today. Getting ready this morning. Just doing my eyebrow real quick. How was everybody's Wednesday? My Wednesday was fan freaking tabulous. My heart, I'm telling you, you guys want to be in my class on a Wednesday morning. On a Wednesday night, sorry. It's morning for me right now. On a Wednesday night, you do want to be in my hot hula class. We had so much fun. It's always like a party. I was so excited because a good... Um, a friend of mine who used to take some hot hula classes from me. Gosh, was it last year or the year before? I think it was the year before. Yeah. Since 2016, she used to take hot hula classes. Um, we would take classes together and I haven't seen her for a long, long time because... Her job transferred her in town and life gets you busy and, you know, people move and they do different things. So I would only see her sp sporadically on social media and I saw her the other day or she saw me. I got a message and then I tagged her in some post that I had yesterday, giving her info of like where I was, where I teach and the time. Good morning. And lo and behold, sister showed up to class yesterday. We had so much fun. Good morning, sister. I miss your face. I was just talking about how um, a hot hula sister of mine and Michelle's. Um, I haven't seen her in forever. She used to take Michelle's classes back in Wahiwa in 2016. And then we kind of lost touch. Life got us busy. And she came to my class last night. And it was so, so nice to see her. I was so excited. <sighs> I'm telling you, hot hula is love. So I'm getting ready this morning for work. I decided I want to layer. And I don't know, this morning, I just wanted to do something with salmon. So salmon is a color that I, I use quite a bit when I layer. It looks like a bright... Like it, when you look at it in the tube, you're like, that's kind of like a bright orange, but it's really not. When you put it on, you'll see more pink. So I want to layer her today with praline rose. So look, they look very different, but I promise <coughs> salmon will do something pretty, pretty like motto, cheerleader. So my hot hula class was so nice to see an old friend. <coughs> Excuse me. It's freezing this morning. My hometown was 61. How about you, sister? Freezing. Small kind. You know it's cold when you got to take the water hose and spray down your car before you get in so that all the, the frost disappears for a little bit. Do you guys do that? Or just me? <laughs> so I'm going to layer some praline rose and salmon. And watch what salmon does. She's so pretty. So I'm going to do, I decided I'm going to do two layers of praline rose first. And then I'm going to put the last coat of salmon. Love her. All right. So yes, it was cold this morning. Had to spray it on my truck. While my truck was warming up. Warm it up, Chris. I'm about to. Warm it up, Chris. That's what I was born to do. You guys know what that song is? Hmm? 90s people that graduated in the 90s they know that song that would have been from Criss Cross those two kids that used to wear the clothes backwards I'm telling you 
I know you guys all remember that. <laughs> so I'm doing my layer this morning with praline rose and salmon. So I only did one layer of praline rose. And I need to get this hair up because, you know, my hair is long, but when I'm doing stuff, I need it like away from my face. That's just me. Some people are like, why don't you just cut your hair then? I'm like, why don't you be quiet? <laughs> yes. Oh, 64. It was 61 when I left this morning. But it was funny because it was cold, but not, um, not as cold as it can be. It was comfortable where you're not like freezing, like chill to the bone. But you're cold, like, oh, I need a sweater. And maybe some gloves. Which I did use my gloves this morning because my hands and my feet get cold really fast. Going in for the second layer of praline rose. Every time I say praline rose, I think of the girl Primrose from Hunger Games. You guys watch that? And something kind of funny during New Year's, you know how it had people had lots of fireworks, which I personally love. People are complaining about, oh, it's illegal. Blah, blah, blah. I love fireworks. So, and in my hometown, like people go off. Like in my yard, we literally I can stand in the middle of my yard and just do like a 360 in my yard in the air, and you'll just see fireworks for days. But during New Year's Eve, every time we would hear like a loud on like a boom, I would yell, I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> and then at first, everybody was like, what? I said, hello, you guys don't watch Hunger Games? They're like, oh, I said, that sound, because that sound, that boom sounds like, you know, when somebody loses in the game. But every time I say Praline Rose, I think of Primrose. What was her last name? I forget. And then a couple years ago, during um, my company Christmas party, we always play all kinds of games. So we had this one fun game where they would stick like a character's name or, um, yeah, it was like a character's name. But it could be from a cartoon or movie, TV show. They'd put the name of the character on your back and then you would have to ask like your friends clues. But it had to be like yes or no clues. It couldn't be, like, anything specific. So I would have to say, like, am I in a TV sitcom? And then the person would have to say no. And then we had, like, I think three lifelines where you could actually ask, like, a different kind of question. Let me tell you, Yotita, because she's an almanac of useless information, I totally crushed that game. I was like, you guys are done. And one of my, oh, Everdeen. One of my, yeah, see, see that Twitch? One of my characters, I was Katniss Everdeen. And I got it. Katniss Everdeen. Primrose Everdeen. Prime Rose Everdeen. Praline Rose Everdeen. See, I can't even see them right now. Gun fun it. But, oh, that game was so good fun. It was between me and one of my um, co-workers, Charity. Love her. We had so much fun. I miss her. This year was... My first Christmas here since I started. Because we started around the same time. And this is my first Christmas without her. So I was like, aww. My first company Christmas party without my, my friend Charity. First Christmas party without my dad. My dad... Worked here for 28 years. We worked in different department. Well, kind of the same department, but not really. He was one of our technicians here. And then I worked in the office. So it was kind of funny. Like, I would get to do their work orders and stuff. Be like, wash my car. Nah, just kidding. I never do that. So you see what I did there? 
I did two layers of praline rolls and then I threw the salmon over. So it didn't come out orange on my lips like I told you. It wasn't going to come out orange. She pulls more on the pink when you put her on. I love some salmon. Now where is my gloss? Okay, time for some regular schmegler. Just going to slap on some regular schmegler gloss. Oh, see, there's some of her text there. All busy, busy, busy. Working hard for their money. What they doing? Get to work. Nah. <laughs> Slapping on some regular schmegler gloss. <sighs> Gotta get my day going. I'm still on like... On Thursday mornings, I'm still on like a hot hula high. I'm telling you guys, you guys need some hot hula in your life. Even if you can't catch my class, go find a hot hula class. I promise. I promise. I promise. So here we have this morning. Two. Oop, what did I touch? Here we go. Wow, I didn't even know there was like a whole menu. There's all kinds of new stuff at the bottom of this live feed. I'll have to try it one day, like, and figure it out. Like, now there's like a, like, you can live chat. So I have to let my sister Stacy know that we have, like, live chat now. Because sometimes when she watches in the mornings, we'll be talking, but she has to type, right? So lucky thing, she can type fast, but she and I are both Portuguese, so we could just go back and forth, back and forth. So, <laughs> mind you, I was watching her. She, lucky ducky, went on a vacation to Japan <sighs> I was watching all her I, I totally watch everybody you know just in case anybody was wondering and I'm not one of those that will just like creep I like your posts and then because I'll, I'll sneak it in whenever I have time so when I'm on my lunch break or like when I'm walking to check the mail I know you're probably not supposed to be walking and looking at your phone but I do so I will and if it's on my feed I'll be like like I don't stalk anybody's pages unless there's something like we did or I know that you're doing something fun. Then I'll go and look like, wow, what are they doing? And I'll, I'll like and stuff. So I'm not one of those ghost, ghost peepers. Peepers? Jeepers, creepers. How'd you get those peepers? See what I did there? I always revert back to music and movie quotes. I don't know why. That's just the way I is. Good morning, team. So now it's time for me to hell on into the office and get my day going. It is so close to the weekend. I can almost, I can almost smell it. I love, love, love me some weekends. I'm sorry if you know more the weekends off. Like I always tell everybody, like if you don't have the weekends off, then you might not want to follow like my personal post. I usually take a break from this page or like, <laughs> I usually take a break from like, my hot hula page or my my gloss page because I figure everybody's doing stuff with their families. I'll still be on it and I'll like you from these pages, but I don't usually post too much. But I always tell people like, if you don't have the weekends off, you don't want to be following my personal page because I will be all over the place and it won't be at work. Trust and believe. And if it is, it's only because I snuck in somewhere to go eat. <laughs> oh, I tell you. So now I gotta go heli on in there. What songs did I sing to you today? Jeepers Creepers. By the way, that was a creepy movie, yeah? Was that like about the Mothman? I'm, I don't know. I, I just respect people's experiences that they have because I would not want to go through that. You guys watch that? I'm a total nut for like supernatural stuff. Like I used to love to watch, um, what was it called? I used to like to watch Ghost Hunters. Um, there was the Penn State boy. That him and his... Um, there's like a supernatural, like, I guess, class, you would say, at Penn State. And they would do, like, ghost hunting and whatnot. I love that kind of shows. But if you watch that kind of shows, they talk about the Mothman. And then I think there was another scary movie. Moth, Mothman... <sighs> prophecies. Mothman something but i think jeepers creepers was about the mothman too now i gotta go google it just be thank goodness for google because my mind is always like that back in the day for me to like verify my useless information i would have to go dig through books but now it's 
so much faster. I love it. But I still read books. And I still have like useless facts books. Like, hmm, let me look up this. Like, is it true? Kids nowadays, they don't know how to research. Everything is on social media. Lazy kids. <laughs> Whatever. Now I'm going off on a tangent. I better go get my Kulu in there and get to work. If you're out on the roads, drive safe. An ambulance did drive past me. I don't know. I didn't hear on the radio what was going on. I don't know if maybe the radio didn't know yet. But, oh, something flew in my eye. Gone funny. Anyways, if you're driving, drive safe. <laughs> Throw some shakas. If somebody throws their blinker on in front of you, don't be a dirtbag and speed up. Just let them come in front of you. And then... If they don't shaka you, then you kindly go into another lane and you overtake them. And then you stick your hand out and you throw them a shaka. <laughs> Just to show them how they should have properly done that. <laughs> throw some shakas. I will see you here tomorrow morning. It will be our happy Aloha Friday. I love Fridays. Love, love, love Fridays. And I love you all. Be a better version of you than you were yesterday. And I'll see you tomorrow morning.